Stop. Authorized personnel only. Raise your hands above your head for identification. Greetings, Explorer. This message is to remind you that you are the UNPSC field officer aiding our research of the Pechorsk Radius Anomaly. Congratulations on your contract extension. Your security level has been reset to zero due to long-term absence. Please proceed to your room and continue the missions. We are hoping for complete cooperation. After looking down the barrel of an automated turret, I was granted access into the UNPSC base. I unlock my room and inspect my inventory before looking over my first task on the roster. To retrieve a wristband of a former explorer. Before I set out, I decide to look around and collect some of the notes left behind by the UNPSC, meant to help explorers like me, as well as take the decorations off the Christmas tree. Good for something Once I had collected everything I could around the base, I had a nice starting cache of supplies and was ready to head out on my first mission. The first region I enter is Pervorme Route. A landscape barren of life. The first location I come to is a small parking lot where cars remain abandoned after years of decay. One seems to be ignoring the laws of physics and floats without a care in the world. Sellable loot. That's good to have. Canned meat. And lighter. But among the vehicles are the remains of soldiers, caked in that charcoal-like material that I've seen other figures in. Pardon me. Whatever killed these men did so in a brutal attack. I was examining the remains of one of the soldiers when a fragment made its way over to say hello. Knowing that my ammunition was scarce and expensive to replace, I decided to use my knife to disperse the monster. I missed. should work all right. Gotta lock the thing up before some sneaky tag breaks in and steals it again. Uh, where did the key go? This is an interesting anomaly. These statues speak once broken, but they only appear when specific missions are active. This one was talking about the wristband I was meant to locate. This makes me wonder if these are the remains of people who died in the radius or something else. Where did the key go?
lost logs. Notes left behind by individuals around the regions. This one was from someone calling himself the Burned Man. Settled on a hill next to the railroad. Looks like it was a substation or something before. Cleared the area from one of This was a log from an unknown party. To fully understand it, I would need to find the other parts of the record. Of course. Hey, we got some stuff here we could use. What am I putting these guys together? Finding the right papers. Huh. The TT-33 magazine. A little roughed up. Shotgun rounds. That's good to have. Missing explorer's wristwatch. Doesn't work, but contains valuable metrics. Perfect. That's my objective right there. Oh, you're here too. I'm trapped somewhere terrible. I don't know where, just that it's dark here, and I can't move. I'm, I'm so sick of this place, whatever it is. My name's Katya, by the way. I'm so glad I found you. Finally, I'm not alone. Katya. This was the name of the girl in white. Although what I could see of her was not the real girl, just a projection. While she could communicate with me, I have no way to respond to her. She appears to be able to create an image of herself in locations of interest, or when she has something to say to me. I spotted her again, just on the other side of the structure. It was here that she shared what this location's true purpose was. Block post was part of the Soviet Army's attempt to take control of the situation in the first days following the event. But the boys who manned it? There was no way they could have done anything or helped anyone in the city. They all got so sick. And they were confused, disoriented. They had been preparing for war, even nuclear war. But they couldn't have expected something like this. Whatever it was. Whatever it is. Maybe it's just the Earth. Tired of us. This was a block post, a defensive position to hold back threats of the radius. But they failed. The monsters now control the entire region. The landscape shows this. Craters from explosions and anomalies. The mangled infrastructure now defying gravity, the ground itself reduced to a minefield of deadly anomalies. Whatever the radius is, it hit this first line of defense hard. And the poor souls that fought for their lives were overwhelmed, and those who remained became ill with the sickness that comes from the radius. From the evidence around the area, the battle must have been chaotic. 
This is a clear demonstration of the power of the radius. When it channels its energy and focuses itself, it becomes unstoppable. It's for this reason that many believe the radius itself is sentient. I can see why. Just before I returned to the rope that would guide me through the fog, I stopped and gathered some supplies from an emergency kit left by the UNPSC. Attention! This is UNPSC Emergency Guidance Recording L1-61. If you are listening to this, you are most likely suffering from one or more of the following conditions. A sense of displacement, disorientation, memory loss, ataxia, and visual auditory hallucinations. Please remain calm. You are experiencing the adverse effects of prolonged exposure to the Pechorisk radius. This recording was placed here by the UNPSC to guide affected personnel to safety. Inside this emergency cache, you will find a basic survival kit that will get you to the nearest research outpost. Enter the fog to find it. When I returned to base and dropped off the wristband, I discovered that somebody had left a few things in my room while I was out. A sawed-off shotgun, ammo, and a hint paper was left for me. Not only that, but there was also a new note slipped into my bag. I'm not sure what to make of this note, but I will hang on to it for now. Lastly, I emptied my bag and sorted out the loot I had gathered during the trip. Ooh. Full box. Once I was finished, I was required to complete a training course to get my next security level. Potato artifact. Nice to meet you, potato artifact. I shall keep you. I put you a potato artifact other one. Hi, potato artifact. <laughs> Upon the return to my room, I found another gift had been dropped off for me. An artifact. While it was used and damaged, it had a healing effect that could mend my most severe wounds. There was also some more hint notes, some throwing darts, guns cleaning supplies, food, and a guitar. Whoever is dropping these off for me wants me to be well equipped for my time in the radius. 